And I would imagine that the moon is probably a bit of a stronghold for alien invaders. So I'm terrified as to what kind of crazy floating butthole slugs await me. Ew. What's up guys and welcome back to Battle Cats. And for today's episode, I really want to finish into the future. I'm not going to make any promises because I have about 10 levels left. And if they're going to get more and more difficult, they might be time consuming. But I also want to show you guys the rest of the summer event because it's going to end soon. I have a couple of event capsules, some rare cat capsules, and more importantly, we only have one level left of Summer Diary. So I'm pretty sure if I beat Backyard Barbecue, we stand a chance of winning a treasure radar, a cat ticket, experience, a rare cat ticket, and a Miko EG Japanesey, I can't remember its name, but you can never have too many cats. So far, Summer Diary hasn't exactly posed much of a challenge, but I would imagine that the last level is gonna be at least somewhat of a threat, right? And that's the cat that we can unlock. Again, I, I don't remember its name, I'm sorry. It's something crazy in Japanese, but it doesn't matter. It's a cat, it's in the game, I want it. This is actually a really small stage as well, so I'm almost concerned, but not quite yet. They've only thrown out a bunch of red garbage at me yet. Okay, more red garbage. Alrighty then, well, Bahamut, I guess you can make quick work of them. Oh wait, here come the angels. Okay, no, we're fine. I actually brought an anti-angel Uber, so I was marginally prepared. Uh, maybe we're not fine. I did not take this very seriously. I did not stack up many cats, and now, and now I'm dead. Okay. Maybe should have taken that a little bit more seriously. What was the boss? So a whole lot of angels are gonna come out of nowhere and shove their halos right up my butt. Good to know. So I've made a one minor adjustment. I've introduced Artist Cat, who you guys may remember as Rocker Cat. I've actually evolved him. After album number two flopped, he tried to get into fine art. Can only draw peanuts, so it didn't sell. Resistant to angelic attacks, so he should be a very useful, spammable, anti-angel meat shield. And then I've also evolved Salon Cat, because a lot of people told me to get Paris Cat, a very stylish cat that earned the name Jean. Might be French, not sure. Exceptional range attack, area attack. And I gotta say, now one of my favorite cats. You can spam them, they have crazy range, area of attack, knockback. They get everything going for them, so I'm definitely appreciating the recommendation. Other than that, I already have my anti-angel Uber. I just need to take things a little bit more seriously. I wasn't expecting to waste a bunch of energy. I just assumed it was gonna be easy. I didn't even really spend any money or send out any cats. Okay, let's actually try this time. We're gonna start this off nice and cool and calm and collected. Just a couple of meat shields. I'm already at max level and we haven't gotten to the base yet. That's good. Paris will do a fine enough job just whacking these guys with her flower. I don't even really want to send out anything else, to be honest. I would prefer if these guys died, but they're not gonna do that for me. So, Bahamut and Kalissa and meat shields, whole lot of meat shields, including painter cat, artist cat, whatever your name is. <laughs> this entire evolutionary line could be named a million different things. So far, no angels, so that's a good thing. It's when, oh, oh, here we go. I spoke a little bit too soon. The fact that the drums freeze my cats is also a bit of an issue, but as long as I keep meat shielding, maybe we'll be fine. Maybe Bahamut won't get wrecked. I mean, yeah, there, oh yeah, that's the stuff. Was that the boss? That couldn't have been the boss. I would assume that the otter was the boss, but now he's dead after very little effort, so there's gotta be, no, there's, there's way more otters coming, so what's the boss? They're really piling up these freaking otters. Okay, no, I got another Kalissa out there. I think the last one might have died, but that's okay as long as I can keep recycling through them. Fire the cat cannon. You guys are telling me that you say that now. I don't know why I say it in a German accent. I, I'm pretty sure it's because of an old Flash skit that I watched a long time ago. One day we decide those Chinese sons of a bitches are going down. So we launch a nuke at China. While it's on its way, China's like, shit, shit, who the fuck is shooting us? Oh well, fire missiles. Then France is like, shit guys, we got the missiles, they are coming, fire our shit. But I'm let tired. Well, have a nap. Then fire the missiles! But it's just, it's addicting. I'm gonna do it forever now. I think we're doing okay. I don't think Bahamut has died yet, right? The meat shields are holding up. Look, I'm actually all right when I try. 
We got a whole bunch of dragons and a whole bunch of Parises and everything is at decent range. Yes, I think all the angels have been more or less taken care of. It's just these freaking otters. Also, people weren't sure if these are otters and I kind of agree with them because otters have a tail and legs and this has flippers, but I'm pretty sure the name of this enemy is Otta Smack You or something like that. So, I don't know, maybe it's a Japanese otter. It's dead now anyway, so we don't really need to be concerned about it. I have multiple Kalissas out there. Yeah, go girl, just slay, slay that thing. Are we, oh, go Bahamut. Firing the cat cannon in victory because I assume that this is a win. A very slow and painfully drawn out win. There we go, okay, you go down and then hopefully the base goes with it. So, I'll take this as a lesson. Treat every Battle Cats level with respect, because you never know when you're gonna get your ass handed to you on video. But we get a rare cat ticket, that's okay. My energy's fully recovered, so no loss there. 30 cat food, and we didn't unlock eco japanese whatever cat. That, what, why is it not guaranteed? Unlikely chance, are you kidding me? So technically I should use a treasure radar to go get it because then it'll be a guaranteed chance, but I don't wanna do that because I can just play this level a dozen times in my spare time and then not waste a treasure radar. So we will get that cat, but we finished Summer Diary. So that's the whole summer event. Now we can open some event capsules like this one, which will hopefully have a pretty ballin' little cat. Which you guys were telling me aren't exactly great. 30,000 experience is definitely worse, but the little cats aren't useful. They're weaker versions of the regular cats. They're just kind of used to upgrade your user rank, which is fine. They're also adorable. Yes, a little, little lizard. I'm gonna get a, a little dragon. I'm still excited. I'll absolutely take that. <laughs> More cats, the better. I it's to the point now where they're like Pokemon, right? You're only gonna use six Pokemon throughout the entire game, but you want all 7,000 of them now, or however many there are, let's be perfectly honest. So I would prefer a little Titan, but I would take uh, speed up. Sure, why not? I heard they're pretty difficult to get. Now for the rare cat capsules, which is where the real fun comes in, because we can try for the Airbusters, which does have Catman, who I desperately want, but there's also Gals of Summer, which is a temporary event and has a lot of booby ubers, and I really want a booby uber, so please give me uber boobies. I would love tropical, Oh, You're not anything like that. Try again. I want uh, Tropical Kalissa or Summer Kai. I don't know, the bouncing one. Ooh, super rare. Okay, that's pretty sweet. What are you? Nerd Cat. All right, we're gonna have to take a look at him later. And I think I get an event ticket every time I open one. So that's pretty sweet. We'll have a bunch more little cats coming, hopefully. Come on, give me the bouncy boobs. Uh, oh, Gardener Cat. No. Not to worry, you guys were telling me in a couple of days that there's gonna be an event where I'll have a 100% chance at getting one of the booby ubers. So I will be doing that event. For now, I need to get 30,000 experience and be depressed. We're going again. We're just gonna keep rolling that gotcha and praying for little Titan, for little bird. Do you think there's any relation to big bird? Oh, that was a, that was bad. Just, just cut, cut that out. Just kidding, my terrible jokes make all the final cuts. I am so, so sorry. So now we're just gonna get our rich cat and then move on to Into the Future. So far, Into the Future hasn't been particularly difficult, mainly because I have Castaway Cat, who is an absolute boss. He is unreal against aliens. And then I also have a couple of anti-alien Ubers, I believe. We have uh, Twin Stars, who I'll toss in there and the black cat, who I'll probably toss in there as well. I don't know if this is too many specials and Ubers, it's a lot of top end, but I think Paris and Castaway should be able to hold things down. People really want me to use Warlock and Pierre, but I just, I don't have the experience to invest in getting him to a level where he's useful. I'm sure he's unreal when he's at top level, but at level two, for 6,000, he's worthless. Okay, so about an hour later, I've played through nine of the ten levels left of Into the Future, and I had planned on making that this episode, but my recording got a little bit wonky, and truth be told, they were really boring levels. 
Like, nothing new or interesting happened, except I did encounter a new enemy who looks like some kind of boar with a silly haircut. I named him Mo. He's dead now. I kind of expected more from some kind of crazy floating continent, but it's fine because now we're moving on to the moon. And I would imagine that the moon is probably a bit of a stronghold for alien invaders. So I'm terrified as to what kind of crazy floating butthole slugs await me, ew. This is what I'm talking about though. This is exactly what I wanted from Into the Future. So Castaway Cat, it's time to go to work. You just keep swinging around your underwear and hopefully deal with these guys. I think he should be fine. I'm gonna stack Paris's and tanks and I really don't want that thing to get any closer. I fully expected like an alien version of Bun Bun or maybe an alien version of the King or something like that. Not an entirely strange different creature, but this music is getting me pumped up. So we're just gonna, oh, what? What? That thing's range is insane! Oh, this is bad. This is so tits Why? That just kills, like, everything. How am I gonna get anywhere near this? <laughs> oh, this is bad. What do you- what's with the weird, like, laser field? This isn't okay. Okay, they're not sending out much. So we might, we might be able to, no, don't kill Valkyrie or just Evaporator, that's cool too. On the upside, it's not really moving forward. It's just kind of demolishing me a lot, a lot. So if I keep meat shielding, I might be able to save up enough for a long range Uber. Oh, I probably can't do that. I really need to kill these things. Castaway, go, Paris, go. How do you fight whatever this is? I am, I am so confused. Oh man, Castaway's just doing, look at that. He just froze like five aliens. I didn't even realize it was area of effect. Okay, now, uh, yeah, okay, he's, he's doing all right. He also survives one lethal strike, which is really, really, really important right now because everything is a lethal strike from this giant sea star butthole. All right, we're gonna get Black Cat out there. She has real good range, so there's a chance that it won't hit her which would be great, and then, okay, yep, there you go, that's what I'm talking about, and then more castaways, and, and tanking. Lots of castaways, lots of tanks, please, please, yes, it doesn't hit her. Okay, that's very, very, very important, and I wanna keep upgrading, because as long as I can keep my economy up, okay, there goes a whole bunch of stuff. Should I have gone with the white rabbit for this level? I don't really know, I need more castaways. Oh my god, the aliens will not stop. <laughs> this is so crazy, I love it. I I honestly did not expect an alien like that. It's such a different enemy, but yes, but Black Cat is doing work and there's not a whole lot more coming, so we might actually be able to hit it. Guys, it's in with range, we're sending out twin stars, we're sending out everything, go, 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 go. Whack it, whack it, there you go. Okay, we're actually doing damage. That's a ah, happy slappy bear, get the hell out of here. This is not what I need, yes! Okay, we pushed it back. That's crucial, uh, and it didn't kill everything, I don't think. I shouldn't have done that. Bahamut's gonna miss. Crap. I was so looking forward to Castaway being able to freeze a boss and this level being a breeze, but no, they had to go and throw this craziness at me. We're, we're doing all right, though. Like, the fact that I'm not dead is definitely a good start. Black Hat's doing a whole lot of work. I think she's got a pushback, which is... Keeping the happy slappy bear at range. Oh no, no, oh, I spoke too soon. This is not looking good. We can't get rid of this stupid bear is the issue. It's just slapping through everything and I can't stack up units. <laughs> I think I'm screwed. I think there is a strong possibility right now that I am completely bone zoned, but I'm not gonna give up because maybe we'll get a lucky castaway hit or maybe he'll just evaporate. That could work too. Okay, castaway, we really need you out there. We really need your freezing stuff. Come on, man, your underwear is not getting the job done right now. Oh, okay, well, that's a lethal strike that he survived. There's so many aliens. There's, there's no way. Okay, so. What do 85%? I only got like that one hit in on it.
So what do we change? Because the issue is that thing has such stupid range that it blows up everything. Oh, actually, at the beginning of the episode, I did get a new cat that has stupid... Whoa, he costs thirty-seven fifty to use? Completely fearless until leaving his basement. Net Denison, who is famous for flaming uber long distance attack specialist. So Nerdcat does very long distance attacks. He costs as much as an Uber, but all of my Ubers just get evaporated, so how much does he cost to upgrade? Because I don't have a whole lot of experience, but if we could get him going, maybe that would... Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. This might be a bit of a waste. Crap. I would try Warlock and Pierre, but I think for 6,000, he's just going to get one-shotted by that thing's energy field. Like, he's technically not a very long-range cat, because Warlock is the little guy in the front, and Pierre is the big guy in the back. Pierre swings around, but Warlock is the target, so he's still gonna get hit and worked over easily enough. I can't remember if I showed you guys last time or not, but I've evolved Sonata Yukimura. He's now War God Yukimura. So he has a jetpack on his back, and he goes insanely fast. So I'm hoping that if we can get some kind of opening, maybe I'll be able to buy him, he'll fly in, get a couple of hits, and then I can stabilize until I get him again or something. I have no idea. I also threw a nerd cat because he's gonna do more than Swordmaster. I don't know what I'm doing. I am probably not prepared for this, to be perfectly honest, but we're gonna give it another try. Bring it on, you alien scum. I mean, don't bring it on too much, though. Oh, God, there's so many of them. I don't like it. Okay, Castaway's doing an all right job. Let's get the nerd out there. I want to see how long range is long range, because he needs to be pretty freaking long range to help me out right now. Oh, can we interrupt? Yes. Okay, Cat Cannon, that's a good start. Uh, more Castaways. He's just working his nerdy way up with his computer. What, is he going to shoot from back there? What is he doing back there? I don't even see his attack. I'm so confused. Maybe he... Oh! He's got a little, like, trap door with a hammer that comes out. Okay, that's dope. If he stays all the way back there, then he should never die. We might be able to stack him and get this done. He might be the key. Kaboom! Okay, yep, we got the meat shields down. Uh, send out that guy. The plan is in effect. Go, go, go. Hit it. Hit it. Yes, yes. Hit it again. I mean, don't push it back so that everybody else can't hit it. Okay, yes. Yes, we got a couple of good hits in there before the Happy Slappy Bear. All right, and we're gonna need to upgrade our money, and oh, please just die. Oh, the plan was so good. <laughs> okay, we did more damage at least, but I get the feeling it's gonna go downhill from here. This stupid bear is so painful. It just walks through everything. Like, it's, it's more painful than the boss. It must be ramped up because it refuses to die. And it just took down my nerd. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> All my Ubers get stacked up and then wiped out. And I, I probably could send out one at a time, but I don't see the advantage in doing that. I don't have enough money to send out anything else. Okay, Twin Stars, I really need you to come out and kill this guy. Please, please, just do some damage and kick and punch and... There we go, we're sending some stuff back. Just please don't die, please don't die. All right, get rid of the cute little thing. Yeah, we're, we're all right. This is freaking brutal right now. <laughs> like, the combination of the bear, who's just invincible and tearing through your stuff, and then when you actually do manage to stack up a defense, it gets blown away by the slug. That's the issue right now. If the bear goes down, we would be fine, but we can't manage to do that. And then all of my cats have crazy long cooldowns. Aw, oh, guys, pushing him back isn't good enough. They're gonna touch the base. Don't let them touch the base. Oh, okay, he's frozen. Frozen is good. I still stand by the fact that if the bear goes down, we'll be okay. No matter how close to the base they get, I think we can manage it. It just needs to die. Please die. Oh my god. <laughs> Castaway. Save me, Castaway. No, no, they're touching the base, Castaway. Please, please stop. Please, please, please stop. I don't want wow. So brutal. I don't know. 66. That's still not close. 
You know what guys, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, and it might come off to some as a disappointment that I didn't actually beat into the future, but I get the feeling to others it's gonna be a massive relief, because I've steamrolled through pretty much every level in this game up until this point, every moon has been a single attempt, every big boss and major encounter has been at most two attempts, I am actually stuck. I actually feel like I'm gonna need to come up with a strategy and maybe get a little more experience and upgrade some cats and stuff like that, so I'm happy to return next episode and try again. And if you guys have any recommendations, be sure to leave them in the comments. You know, should I upgrade Warlock and Pierre? Is there some other cat that I might have that I'm completely forgetting about? Is Nerd Cat worth upgrading? I might do a little bit of research. In reality, I'm probably just gonna wing it again next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.